hey, it's been a while, so i just been really busy, and I haven't had time to do, like, one of these in a bit, so... But I figured since it's going to be Agasonic's 31st anniversary, because I think last year was the 30th anniversary, so... Um... I want to talk about a game I really want near and dear to my heart. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever going to happen. It's practically like a meme at this point because I've seen it been used as a meme. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have probably seen it as a meme. I'm hardcore wanting Sonic <laughs> Adventure 3. I want a Sonic Adventure 3 so, so badly. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding, because, um, to be honest with you, I know I made that one video where it was, like, um, games that I wish it would exist that I know that probably never will. I know this one's kind of, like, a hope. I don't really know if they'll ever make a Sonic Adventure 3. Honestly, like, maybe, hopefully, they'll make a Sonic Adventure remaster. I keep seeing people wanting that, because I know a lot of, honestly, a lot of people didn't seem that excited for Sonic Origins, uh. I honestly think it looks kind of cool. I like that they're going to add some animation stuff. It looks like the same people that probably did Mania. So I think that'd be kind of neat. But other than that, um, so like before I have that one kid screaming at me and I, I think y'all know who I'm talking about. If not, uh, God, it's been a second, but like, he's like, y'all Sonic Adventure 3 fans. Y'all are what ruined the franchise. <laughs> Always wanting it. And this is why this is why the games aren't good. <laughs> and stuff like that is so funny. Um uh, I have to like honestly, I don't think I've actually seen the whole video. I think I've only seen that little snippet where he's he's just more or less he slams his little Sonic backpack on the ground and he's just like all frustrated so I thought that was so funny and then when I saw that I think I was like 20 or 21 or something like that so I was like I mean I do want Sonic Adventure 3 and I ain't gonna deny it I ain't gonna apologize <laughs> either um and apparently I'm not the only person that feels that way because I've seen people uh, other people online kind of like oh Sonic Adventure 3 <laughs> or sometimes when I go into the like live streams for Sonic and stuff like that for Sega they'll be like Sonic Adventure 3. <laughs> so, uh, I know I'm not the only person. I don't know. They might be just joking, but I think I've also... I think I saw this one convention thing where I think they were asking, like, Sega, like, and then people were like, Sonic Adventure 3, Sonic Adventure 3, but, yeah. Um, but, so, low-key why I want a Sonic Adventure 3, though, is, honestly... I really love the story for Sonic Adventure. Like, the story for it is, like, really, like, Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. It's like, chef kiss. Friggin' love it. They're both great, and, um, I mean, like, both stories kind of, like, handle different things and are separate, like, and, uh, I kind of want to go into details, but let's see. I'm trying to think how to explain. Like, I just... They're just so good to me, in my opinion, like, um, I guess Sonic Adventure, though, it's kind of like saving the world and stuff like that, but I think also another thing that I really like about Sonic Adventure is they actually go hang out with other characters, or you play with other characters, and then you play them through different perspectives and stuff like that. Um, same thing with, like, like, so Sonic Adventure is really cool, as in, like, say, um... Like, my favorite example is, like, so if you're playing, like, Sonic, Eggman sounds really, like, he still sounds threatening and stuff a little bit, but he's, to Sonic, he's kind of, like, you know, dumb and, like, he's just a bad guy and, like, you just beat him, but when you play as Tells, it's, like, Eggman seems more, like, scarier, like, his tone and everything is, like, completely, like, different and, like, he is just, like, super terrified of him and it's kind of like tells just trying to like work on himself to like where he doesn't really like because uh while you're playing the game he's like i always kind of like rely on sonic and like you know what i'm a good enough as i am i will you know try and like do what i am good at best because i can probably disarm this missile 
on my own without needing Sonic and take care of and save Station Square. And that's what he does. And then him kind of having that, like, getting, like, tougher and braver and stuff like that kind of goes into Sonic Adventure 2 because I don't think he ever has, like, an issue where he thinks he needs to, like, rely on Sonic. I mean, there's, like, a part where he's concerned about him, but um, shit tells us, like, riding around, like, basically in a mech or something like that. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. Because, like, and also in Sonic Adventure 2, it's like everyone has, like, their own separate rival. Like, Sonic and Shadow, the two speedsters, they're against each other. Tells and Eggman, they're both, you know, super smart. They both ride around the mechs. That's their thing. They go against each other. And then Knuckles and Rouge, they're both treasure hunters. And try to, like, collect the pieces of the Master Emerald so they go against each other. Which, that's my ship. <laughs> I ship them so hard. I've seen some people ship Rouge and Shadow, and that's that's totally okay. But me, personally, I think Knuckles and Rouge is, like, a better better ship for me. Just Maybe that's my bias biasedness with Sonic Adventure 2. Like, honestly, I just see Shadow and Rouge as friends. But that's, that's just me. Same thing, I'm a hardcore Sonic Emu shipper, too. So, like, I think... I know there's all kinds of different shippers when it comes to Sonic, like, especially if we go into comic levels, but Archie's kind of like a completely different topic, and I haven't really read that many. I own two, but besides that, I don't want to get too sidetracked, but, um, just, I thought that was so cool. And then I did also, like how I mentioned before, they even bring up when Tells, uh, Save Station Square, because Tells has a Chaos Emerald because the city rewarded him for saving Station Square, and that's, like, a callback to Sonic Adventure. So, to me, it feels like Sonic Adventure is, like, kind of its own little universe, too, as well. So maybe that's, like, another reason why I kind of want a Sonic Adventure 3 game. Because I've seen people... Which, I don't really disagree with it. Um, like, Sonic Heroes is kind of, like, basically in a way, like, a Sonic Adventure 3, just without saying Sonic Adventure 3. And same thing with Sonic 06, but everyone knows how Sonic 06 went. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if they re-release Sonic 06, and if they want to release a broken version so people can still play the broken version or have it fixed, I wouldn't mind playing that. Of course, I know a lot of people have, like, a complaint of the one thing with the story, but I've also seen other people talk about Sonic 06, and they apparently did shadow a lot of justice in Sonic 06, so they, like, did really well with his story. And then I think they did really well with Silver. It's just, for some reason, the main character that it's even just called Sonic the Hedgehog, um, they didn't even, like, do it properly or right or justice and stuff like that. So, um, I just think that's kind of crazy. But, um, what else? Let me go ahead and think. So, and that's another thing I think I want why another Sonic Adventure game is I wish you could play as other characters again. And then, of course, again, in Sonic Heroes, you were able to play as, like, different characters, but it was, like, set up as a team thing, which wasn't bad, but I really liked what Adventure did. Um... Also, like, I guess if they were to make an Adventure 3 game, I kind of would want it to go back to the hub world thing. I thought that was so cool. And then I kind of like after you beat the game, you can do like little extra missions and stuff like that. Unless that's just a director's cut thing, because honestly, that's the only version of Sonic Adventure I've played is the director's cut. I haven't ever played the Sega Dreamcast, so I don't know if it's different. Um... But I played it, like, on GameCube, and then I played it on Steam recently, but I think it would be cool if you could play, like, some of these characters again, like Sonic, Tells, Knuckles, and I think that's what a lot of people, I see a lot of people kind of hoping that for Frontiers, I don't know if they're going to do that with Frontiers or not, um, so, um, I don't know if I should just make a separate, because I've seen a lot of people say different things about Frontiers, but... Um, it would be nice if they could make something similar like that again, like that formula. Because I did enjoy it. Honestly, I liked enjoyed playing all the characters. I enjoyed playing Amy. I honestly low-key enjoy playing Big the Cat. Like, I mean, it's honestly just fishing. But I think Sega, I could be wrong. I feel like they were going through a phase 
And I know that uh, they had that Sega Bass Fishing game. And then I've played a couple uh, Yakuza games. First, those games are kind of like on PlayStation, but they seem to like to add fishing in their video games, which I don't have a problem with that. I honestly love fishing. And I mean, I guess trying to fish for Froggy is kind of a pain because I know like if you don't know what you're doing and kind of like doing it for the first time, I think if you don't catch Froggy right and he like pulls up weird or wrong, I think you do lose a life. It's been a hot second, but so I could see like why some people would get frustrated, but I like enjoyed Big Sting quite a bit to the point where I actually like went back, played like I think the beach level because that area is really pretty. And like I didn't even focus because I know where Froggy is at and I can catch Froggy. But he doesn't really ever move. So I went to like this area where you just catch a bunch of like random fish and stuff like that and I just caught those because I was like, hell yeah, I'm just going to catch me some fish. So yeah, um, which I like doing that in video, like hell I'll do that in Zelda and some other stuff, but I personally just enjoy catching those fish. I can't talk. Now I guess if they were also to like Knuckles, I feel like they should still do the treasure hunting thing. It would be nice if they go back to what they did in Sonic Adventure. Because, <laughs> so, Sonic Adventure 2 is cool and everything, but, like, the radar thing in that one sucks. Because all the other two are basically, like, locked. Now, if you do end up finding one of them by accident, then the ones that are locked will disappear. But they won't beep if you're near them. So you could be like maybe near an emerald the whole entire time while you're looking for emerald one. And that was kind of a pain. Like the plus thing with Sonic Adventure is that like if you're close to any of the emeralds, all of them will like light up. Because like I think I've been in an area where like I think three of them light Like obviously one's like beeping crazier than the other. And then maybe like one was in the blue-ish green area and the other one's like yellow or something like that. So like they're, I mean so they're within the vicinity. So, like, I feel like you probably try and find the one that's, like, beeping the craziest, but that means, like, hey, the other emerald's kind of close by, so you want to try and find that, too, so you don't, like, wander off too far. So, that would be... Especially if it's, like, the last emerald, like, if the last emerald's, like, close to, like, where the first emerald's at, so... And then... I think they also had different... They had more different colors, too, because, like, as Sonic Adventure 2, it was just, like, green, yellow, and red... And then if you're super close, you get an exclamation point on your head saying like, hey, yo, we are super, super close now. But in the original, it was like, I think, I think blue, then green, then yellow. And then there was like a pink or a red. It's been a second. I'd have to replay or rewatch one of my videos, I guess. But um, be nice if, if they were to do that just do that formula again because that would be nicer but um I would just love to play like some of the characters again I just think it would be kind of cool and I honestly like I love I love all the Sonic characters heck I think it'd even be cool to play Eggman again because um I haven't played every single Sonic game yet like I haven't played like Dark Brotherhood um but I know that like Eggman is you do play Eggman like in the Sonic and like Sega All-Stars Racing or like Sonic Racers and you play as Eggman like in Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games but I don't really would count those as you like like you're playing Eggman but it's kind of like you don't really play Eggman like in a main storyline Sonic game that would be kind of cool if you could do that again but if you don't, that kind of makes sense. It kind of just, I know, fit for Sonic Adventure 2, the good versus evil thing that they were going for at the time. Um, but that would be, that'd be pretty interesting because I thought it was kind of cool, like, playing as Eggman and, like, seeing stuff from his point of view and, like, him trying to get Sonic and stuff like that. And, I mean, he did have his, like, moments, like, especially in SA2 where he kind of, like, almost won and stuff like that. Um, so that was pretty, like, interesting. Um, trying to think what else, but yeah, that's another reason why. So Sonic Adventure has good story, good, um, I like that you play different characters. Like, I love playing Sonic, don't get me wrong, Sonic is great, but uh, I'm 
trying to think the last game that you've played as another character besides like you know like all stars racing or um because i know in sonic colors you don't you don't play as any of the characters of course i haven't played any of the ds games and apparently they had more characters than some of the other consoles which like kind of upsets me because i'm like what are you i was like knuckles and amy are in the game they're not in the game in the wii version so and they're probably not in the switch version because i think the switch version is based off of the wii version but i was like I was so upset. I was like, damn, they're holding out. Same thing with Sonic Unleashed. I play Sonic Unleashed on the Wii. I didn't realize there was a hub world in Sonic Unleashed. I was like, bro, why didn't they do a hub world on the Wii? Why? Because, like, on the Wii, you had to, like, click on points to talk to people. But on the apparently Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 version, you can just walk around and talk to people and stuff like that and apparently there's also airplane segments like how it was in sonic adventure and i was like bro are they holding out on the wii but i don't know maybe that was too intense because i know the wii's graphics are kind of more like lower tier but um and yeah sonic unleashed you couldn't play i know any of those characters and i think the only characters that were in that one was tells and amy um, Knuckles wasn't in it. Of course, I've seen some people, like, it's maybe a good thing they don't always add Knuckles, because unfortunately, like, with Knuckles, they've been making him, like, the tough dude that doesn't have a brain when he is actually pretty smart. It's just, like, he's naive. Like, he's very trusting, which, to be honest with you, you can kind of go for the same thing with Shadow. Shadow is kind of, like, naive, especially, like, if you play Shadow the Hedgehog, because I don't think the gameplay is too bad. Of course, it's an older game and it's probably definitely like more clunkier and I know it's probably like easy to glitch through things and stuff like that so um but and honestly I thought all the stages were really cool and I like that like everyone's thing is like a little bit different like unless you play Sonic Adventure 2 then like Sonic and Shadow they're the fast characters and Knuckles and Rouge they're treasure hunting characters and then Eggman and Tells. I guess they're shooter characters or mech characters or I guess what have you. Um, so they're kind of samey with that but it's still different. Um, but like in Sonic Adventure like well, Sonic still speed is key. Just more or less you get to point A to point B. Tells you need to beat Sonic. Uh, Amy hers is actually technically I guess try not to get caught or a stealth mission. Um, and it's you trying to escape from a robot trying to catch you. Which was pretty cool. And like honestly hers would make me so nervous because I was so paranoid about getting caught. And then there's even this like one part that's kind of like it scared me a little bit. Because like you have to put these keys down and you're like in this monitor room. And then you like see him looking at you and then you're like oh fuck. And then you just bust out. And then, like, I kind of screamed, and Amy screamed, and it didn't help, so I was like, oh, man, but that was still pretty cool. And then, um, Big, obviously, he was just fishing. He really doesn't do much other than fishing, so. And I guess, like, compared to, like, some of the people that were, like, high octane, and I can see why people were like, ugh, it's so slow-paced, and I'm like... I don't think it's that bad, and honestly, Big's story is, like, the shortest, I think. Either Big's or Amy's, because... So, Sonic's story is, like, the longest. I think the next longest is either Tells or Knuckles, because... And then Knuckles, again, his is treasure hunting. Um, so... Um, so you get, like, most of your story through Sonic, so, like... Which, I think that would be, like, if they were to ever do that, I guess, again, then it, that would probably be the best thing to do is, like, probably just, like, have Sonic be the longest, because I know a lot of people like to play as Sonic, and then they were to add any extra characters, and then there's Gamma, which you actually get to play as, like, one of Eggman's minions or robots, so that's kind of, like, you playing, I guess, a little bit of a bad guy. And then, like, um... It's more or less you trying to do like, uh, it's like a shooting thing, but it's like a time attack. So you like want to keep hitting enemies and like building up the time so you don't ever run out of time. So like I thought all the different mechanics were pretty cool and I do thoroughly enjoy them. Um, so yeah, and like I said, it's, it's a little bit clunky, but um, the, they're, they're older games. They came out like in the, I think 90s or early 2000s. 
Um, and then, obviously the music's super good, so like, bring back Crush 40. Crush 40, for sure. And then my main main thing I would want back from a Sonic game, and maybe just a Sonic game in general, bring back the Chow Gardens. I really, really miss the Chow Gardens. I love the Chow Gardens, and I'm so surprised they haven't done- I'm surprised they haven't even made a mobile game for Chow Gardens, because a lot of people love it, because- it's just you raising a child, just trying to like, it's, and a lot of people like those type of games, it's like a pet simulator thing, and it was, it was so cool and so fun, so I think that's, I think that's another, this is the main, main reason why I want a Sonic Adventure game, I just want to take care of a child again, I just want to do that again. <laughs> They're so cute, and also I, I guess if they were to go with the mechanics, honestly, Sonic Adventure 2's Chow Garden to me plays a little bit better than I think Sonic Adventure's. Um, and then also you can like level up people, or not people, I level up the Chow's with Chaos Drives and you don't have to use animals. Cause if you use animals, it kind of like changes what the Chow's appearance looks like. So you can either like keep them like looking the same or you can have them, if you want to have them look more animalistic, you can add like different animals. Like there's even some like rare animals. Like I think there's, I know there's unicorns for sure. I don't remember if there's dragons. I think there is a dragon though. Um, just for example. But then there's normal animals like penguins and gorillas and cheetahs and stuff like that. And you can just build... Uh, none of y'all has played a chow garden before. It's more or less you build your stats up. Like there's stanima. Which stanima you build up with food. And then like... Um, speed... You, like, gather, I think the green ones are speed, and then, like, for example, cheetahs are speed and stuff like that, and just kind of build it up, and then there was, like, the little races, and then there was the karate stuff, and that was pretty cool, and then you do get rewards, like, and it kind of decorates the child garden more, and then, like, say, if you're playing, like, Sonic or something like that, then you get, like, a hero child, and then you unlock the hero garden, and then... Um, you can have, like, more chow, and then they'll be, like, more associated, like, with, well, you could probably put dark chow in the hero garden if you want, it doesn't really matter, it's just you unlock that, and then if you play shadow, then you, um, you get a dark chow, and then you unlock the dark chow garden, which the dark chow garden looks pretty evil, which I'm like, I don't know why you would put some chows in here, but I mean, I guess they like it, but anywho, I guess because they're supposed to be dark, but it's kind of funny like a gothic halloween party basically down there but anywho uh I, and I, I like how that's a thing and then also you can make them neutral now you don't unlock a neutral garden because basically the chow garden it's pretty neutral like it's just your basic um there's like trees and waterfall which honestly i do like the og chow garden a lot uh, I do like the other gardens, but the, I guess just starting off with the child garden, I think it's pretty perfect, so, but if they were to ever, definitely, honestly, I think it just in general, if they don't even make a Sonic Adventure 3, just add child gardens again, please, I just want child gardens, man, I freaking love taking care of chows, I'm wanting to, eventually, I saw on the Sega store, they have a chow and space poster, I seriously want a Chow and Space poster because I always thought those were so cool because like if you, oh, I guess if they were to also do Sonic Adventure 3, add a Chow and Space 3 just to continue it, just to have that going because um, if you're in Station Square, uh, you see like a poster and it's called like Chow and Space and you can see the Chows in Space and then uh, in Sonic Adventure 2, you see like Chows in Space too and I'm like, oh man, that would be so cool. I think that's cool that they, well, they made a shirt and a poster, but I, I want to get the poster whenever I can. But yeah, just thanks for listening to me go on about something I want to exist into existence, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only Sonic fan. Um, and I think a lot of people why also, because, again, there's like a lot of videos. I, I watch a lot of Sonic videos in my free time. I've seen a lot of people talk about, like, how... And I'm kind of glad I'm not the only person that feels that way, that, like, story-wise, it kind of went down, like, when Sonic Colors came around. Because, I don't know, like, I was kind of, like, when I first played Sonic Colors, 
I beat it like within a day, which wasn't that difficult, but I didn't really have an issue with that. But it was it was very cheesy and corny and stuff like that. And I was like, am I just getting older and just not liking it anymore or what's going on? And then um, just so when I saw like other people like have the same feeling as me, like, oh, yeah, I just Sonic Colors. I feel like it's like when it just became like super silly and it kind of because I mean, it's still it's a kid's game, so I'm not gonna, like, be, like, and use it to be super serious, but, like, the stories in Sonic Adventure were so cool. It's, like, we had, like, such a treat, and then they just kind of made them super goofy, and I mean, like, a good example would be kind of, like, Sonic Boom, Chris. I, low-key, though, I do like the Sonic Boom cartoon. Like, I do see that as, like, its own, like, little universe, but there's parallel universes. I see that as its own little parallel thing, but, um, so I'm kind of glad that I wasn't the only person that kind of like felt that way. Like a lot of people seem, of course, I mean, there's all kinds of Sonic fans. There's Sonic fans who like the 2D era. There's some people who like the Sonic Adventure era, which I feel like I fit that pretty. I forgot what era that's, cons there's different eras. I know like there's the Dark Ages era and I forget all the errors for Sonic, but I know I mainly liked the adventure games, which I do like the storybook games. I liked Sonic and the Black Knight and Sonic and the Secret Rings. I, I adore those games. So when people like bash them and hate them, I'm like, bro, they have like a pretty good story and they were kind of fun to play. Now they can be a little twitchy. Um, but like, for example, Sonic and the Secret Rings, um, so maybe I'll just make a separate video for every single Sonic game, like just me trying to defend it because I probably could defend quite a few of them. Probably not the cl classic, so I actually just kind of suck at the classic games, <laughs> but, um, but I think Sonic of the Secret Rings is pretty good, and, like, if you know how to, like, set up the rings, you can set up each ring for, like, different scenarios, and you get, like, four slots, well, four slot for four separate rings to make, like, one can be good for gathering rings, while one's good for just speed and stuff like that or invulnerability because there are some parts where it's like hey you can't get hit at all so um so i thought those were kind of cool and then sonic and the black knight same thing like you customize and make your own swords and stuff like well if you're playing other characters oh i guess there was a i guess you could play other characters in those games well that's story i don't think storybook counts so in storybook you get to play it basically I don't want to say their counterparts because I feel like that might be a little confusing, but you get to play as Blaze, Shadow, and Knuckles, and you get to customize and make their swords. Sonic, you don't really do that. You just pick what style. Like, it's either you go really fast, you have a medium pace, or you go slow. So, but it um, just depends on what style, I guess, fits for you or the stage at the time. But I'm trying to think what else, but yeah, just like Sonic Colors, it just kind of in which I, I've seen people that's why like some people didn't really care for like I think people were thinking that's what forces forces was gonna go back to kinda cause they like teased a bunch of like fan service like chaos and shadow and like a bunch of like older characters that were major and then it just kinda I don't know, I'm not really good at kind of explaining those things I've seen better videos that explain stuff like that so I guess if y'all are more curious um uh, what was the channel that I watched? I can't remember their name, but uh, I think it was like Characters in Depth was one that I watched. Well, that one's good about explaining like what happened with certain characters because like how Knuckles is, for example, or how Shadow is and stuff like that. And then um, actually there's like whole breakdown videos on like why Sonic Adventure 2 is such a good game like they're like two hours which I did watch the whole two hours now I didn't watch it all in one sitting because that's a lot of time but being a two hours my video is like hitting 31 minutes right now as we speak but um I just again I would just I guess I kind of do miss like how stories the Sonic stories used to be but again I understand it's for kids, so if they, I guess, want to go down that route, I'll probably, you know, I'll still play it, but, um, I think as long as the gameplay is good, I think I'll be okay, hopefully, because trying to think of some stuff with Sonic Forces, because I did enjoy Sonic Forces, but at the same, I don't know, I think I got super hyped for the villain, and the villain just kind of 
but again, maybe that's like a different topic for a different day -ish, probably. Maybe I want to focus just on like Sonic Adventure 3. Um, I just know I really did enjoy uh, Adventure 3 when it did, or not Adventure 3, <laughs> um, I came from the future. I just know I enjoyed the Sonic Adventure series and it would be cool to kind of see it come back again because it, it felt like its own thing because I mean like heck, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2 if I guess they wanted to make a theory that could just call it Adventure 3, so, but, um, can't really think of anything else, I kind of just made some of my points, mainly just also want Chow Gardens, Chow Gardens again, <laughs> if anyone ever sees this, just name point, take away, just add Chow Gardens, I think you'll make every Sonic fan happy, maybe, I don't know, you'll make them happy at least, I'll probably toss my money, but anywho, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.